one motion in a straight line. In this chapter, at the first, we have to know what's meant by motion. Motion, it's a change of object's location as time passes. There are two types of motion. First type is transitional motion. Transitional motion, it's motion which is characterized, characterized by having starting or initial point and final point, like motion straight line, projectiles, and traffic. Second type is periodic motion. When the body repeats its motion in equal intervals of time, we can say it may can make periodic motion as a circular motion, vibrational motion, moon, and earth around the sun. Okay? Now, it's time to know the meaning of velocity. Velocity, it is a displacement covered in, by a moving object in a unit of time. We can say that display or rate change of object displacement. There are two definitions. The unit which is used to measure velocity is kilometer per hour or meter per second. The rule which is used to measure the velocity, delta D or over delta T, delta here means the difference between them. We can convert the unit kilometer per hour to meter per second by using rule 5 over 18 or divided 5 over 18. The question now, what is the difference between the speed and velocity? Speed, it is a distance which is covered by moving object in unit of time, so it will be scalar physical quantity. While velocity, it is a displacement which is covered by the object in unit of time, so velocity is vector. There are two concepts related to velocity that help describe the object motion as Instantaneous velocity. Instantaneous velocity means velocity in any instant. Velocity at any point known as instant. Okay? Look at this figure. This is relation between displacement and time. Of object move with non-uniform velocity. Okay? The velocity here is in an instant and other. This is a velocity in other instant and so. In this point, when I'd like to, get, to calculate the velocity or an instantaneous velocity by making tangent line and drawing rectangle, triangle, excuse me, to get the slope. The second concept is average velocity. Average velocity from middle three, we know that average velocity is equal to total displacement, which is covered by the object by total time. The slope of the line straightening to the final points in this. So this line, intersecting all this line, represents the average velocity, while here is an instantaneous velocity. There are two types of velocity. The first type is a uniform velocity. The condition which is necessary for making uniform velocity, the body cover equal displacement at equal time, like that. This uh, object or this man or this boy move equal displacement at equal time, so the velocity is a uniform velocity. So the graph that represents it, graph D time graph by straight line pass with point of origin as this point no, we have to notice that displacement equal value from 10 20 30 so delta d equal 10 meter while delta t is one second so it move equal displacement at equal time in this case uh, when we'd like to calculate it, it will be 10 meter per second we have to note that uniform velocity is the velocity where the object moving object have an instantaneous velocity equal to its average the velocity in this instant like velocity in this instant equal velocity in this instant equal also average velocity the second type is non-uniform velocity it is a velocity when the body cover unequal displacement in equal intervals of time or equal displacement at unequal intervals of time and this is graph represent the non-uniform velocity. Now, we have to talk another concept that related to object motion is acceleration. At the first, what's meant by the acceleration? Acceleration, it is a rate change of object velocity. 
like this object, this moving car, in each interval of time, the velocity change. So it doesn't move with uniform velocity. The object that move with non-uniform velocity, it acquired acceleration or it has acceleration. Okay? Acceleration rule, it's a change in velocity by change in time. So acceleration V square, V2, excuse me, minus V1 over T2 minus T1, we can say final velocity minus the initial velocity and this graph represents the relation between velocity time in this case types of acceleration the moving object can move by number one uniform acceleration in uniform acceleration the object speed change equal value at equal intervals of time so when we draw the graph vt it will make straight lines across with the point of origin the slope here is uh, refers to uniform acceleration the other type is non-uniform acceleration it's acceleration where the object speed change equal value at unequal periods of time or may uh, change it unequal amount of the speed with equal time this graph of the non-uniform acceleration v time represented by this shape note the uniform acceleration may be positive, negative, or zero acceleration as following. Number one, positive acceleration or accelerating motion. The object that moves with accelerating motion has only one condition, which is final velocity is more than initial velocity as the speed increase. And this is the graph describe the object positive acceleration. The second type is negative acceleration. We can say negative acceleration is known as decelerating motion, like the, the object speed decrease, so the final velocity is less than initial velocity. The acceleration has negative sign, and this graph represents the shape of the negative acceleration. Zero acceleration, it's n nothing means zero acceleration as object move with uniform speed or velocity, excuse me. Object that move with uniform speed has no acceleration because uniform velocity is a constant velocity. So final velocity equal initial velocity, so the acceleration will be zero. And this graph or parallel line represents that zero acceleration. Example. Car was moving with velocity 30 meter per second, so it's considered initial velocity. When the driver applied the brake, the car stopped after 15 seconds. Stopped here refers to that final velocity will be zero and time given 15. Number A, the acceleration of car equal dot number B, what is the type of acceleration and why? Answer, from the given initial velocity 30 meter per second, Final velocity, zero. Delta T or change of time, 15. By applying the rule, acceleration delta V over delta T equal P negative two meter per second squared. It's negative Y because final velocity is less than or lower than initial velocity.